doing too. Changed my weight and I was sending my partner and, and going the opposite way. And of course I can do it on the other side. One and two. So this is, if you like, a side contra. Of course, I can also use it without stopping, palm, and every time I step, I have a change of weight as a leader. Using the forward show as the fundamental sequence, where I'm going to send a forward, and I'm going to go forward at the same time to produce that little kind of elasticity leading to the contra. Once we're here, we can easily add the side contra, doing one and two, and then maybe Karen here. So again, follow show, contra, contra, and maybe after a change of weight, I go forward. This can also be used on the other side, on the outer lane. Contra, contra, and off we go. And again, contra, contra, and off we go. The contra, this side, I step, and I do it the other side. This is sometimes used in bats. And of course, with the possibility that I can always add my side contra and a free go. I'm going to lead a normal ocho and I'm going to change my weight when she's pivoting and I'm going to send energy against her, which actually makes her want to send the leg. I'm adding a little bit of a lift in the embrace. And I wait for her for the recorrido, the return, in the ocho. One, two, contra, and around. Maybe leading to sandwich or anything else. Now, we had a look at the same idea inside the ocho cortado. So the ocho cortado is going to be a cross, but rather than going together with her, which would be a normal back and forth of ocho cortado, I'm going to go against her. One, and two, and three, and four. So the idea being to go rebound, I leave my left, I leave my left behind, and I immediately am able to do the contra in ocho cortado. Contra in sacadas, trying to wait, and contra here before, maybe before the show. Let me reposition here. Um, contra and for the show. I reconnect and off we go.
cantar, pero después. 